After 21 years of service, Saudi Arabia's veteran oil minister, Ali Al Naimi, was unceremoniously removed from his post on Saturday as part of a wider government reshuffle that involves changing Saudi's economy to try and wean it off its dependence wholly on oil. He's been replaced by a well-regarded technocrat, Khalid Al Fali, chairman of the state oil company Saudi Aramco. So the market reaction so far has been calm. Investors seem pleased with the appointment of Mr. Fali. Unlike Mr. Naimi, he's part of the inner circle around Saudi Arabia's reforming Deputy Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman. Now, he is the man who holds the levers of power in the state today. He's also behind the ambitious 2030 vision, which envisages moving Saudi Arabia away from its dependency on oil and into other industries. All of that should provide some continuity at least in terms of oil policy. Both the 30-year-old Prince and Mr. Fali have indicated they believe in keeping output high as the best strategy in an industry that's been transformed by unconventional resources. No one should be under any illusion. Mr. Fali will not enjoy the same level of autonomy as his predecessor to shape oil policy. The Deputy Crown Prince's economic vision for Saudi Arabia sees a less prominent role for oil. That said, one of the key planks of the new policy is a stock market flotation of Saudi Aramco that could value the business at as much as two trillion. That will provide the base for a big sovereign wealth fund which will drive the reinvigoration of the Saudi economy. As such, there could be an incentive for the country to pump more crude in the near term to secure revenues that could help the transition of the country to its post-oil economy. This would also have the benefit of pressuring regional rival Iran, which is trying to boost output following the liftings of sanctions related to its nuclear program earlier this year. But it's going to take some time for a picture to emerge. Such are the reforms that the Deputy Crown Prince is trying to push through. On oil, the Kingdom normally raises its productions to feed power plants in the summer months to help meet soaring air conditioner use. Whether any production increases are maintained after the summer months remains to be seen. But what we can say is this is a new era for Saudi oil policy, and one that will probably be more volatile for oil markets.